Bag fuel, baby. Seeing that y'all was up, up, up there, right, and y'all was making tons of money, you said that you hit a dark spot. Was you overspending the money that you had? You, was you blowing it back then? Hell fucking yeah, I was blowing. I was blowing it. That nigga, first you, first, you 20, what was I, 20, 22? 21, 22, yeah. with M's, on top of M's. Niggas made an M, getting ready to get an M, and got all type of other M's coming. You know what I'm saying? We just, that ain't even on tour. Then we get, we get the M's on tour. So you, and you 22, fam, all we know about is trying to fly the bitch that we saw in Hawaii, <laughs> you know, we got big, you know, mm. like, I'm gonna fly mine too. Why don't we just get the jet and fly a couple of them down there and go get the mansion down in Miami mm. and get the, instead of thinking about buying the mansion in Miami and trying to figure out how much it costs for the jet, i never forget Aunt Marsha, Marsha Streeter. I love you, baby. She was, and I ain't do it. Let me, let me get to the end of the story. I ain't do it. <laughs> She's like, nigga, why don't you take some of that damn diplomat motherfucking money and go buy you a few fucking cribs right there on 116th Street and Broadway for them Columbia University motherfuckers. I'm like, yeah, I'm going to do it. And went and got me a bottle, found me a bitch, and fucked in probably one of them, in one of them apartments in there. You know mm. what I'm saying? And now it's $3,500 for a two bed or one bedroom a month a yeah. month for the college students you know what i'm saying and this shit been going on and she told me this about like 24 22 20 years ago 22 whatever you know what i'm saying so what, what would you tell you? you answered i said but yeah, you, had, you had that money or did you blow it what would you tell the young dudes to do with their money what would be some advice well the if my the, my the, my younger G's, my Man. younger G's coming up. For one, when you get your money, sit down, get the fuck away from anybody. Just for one second, take a deep breath, go in there, and go do your cartwheels, your James Brown <laughs> splits, go motherfucking woo. Run up and down your house, the hallway, wherever the fuck you at. Go do that shit, dolo, or fuck a bitch who you don't know, whatever, you got to get all that shit out and chill out. And then sit and ask yourself, what do you want to do with the money that's gonna make you have the money when you don't have no more money? Cause there's always a time where the tables turn on you. Mm. The table will turn, turn my nigga. Yeah. It's going to happen. It happens because this is the reality check to see if you could do it again. Mm. Just prep yourself to be able to do it again by having a stash that you know you can't touch unless you, whatever the fuck you come up with. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you stash your money and find an investment that you know that can be lucrative for the rest of your life. Do it, I don't know what your preference may be, young G's, but make sure you do that, cause again, motherfucker, you stinking motherfucker who think you know it the fuck all and because you fucking getting a few dollars, you start telling niggas to kiss your ass and well, if you know you would be the one with the money, not me, y'all can suck something, I don't give a fuck. And you be talking to niggas who's going to be executives in a few minutes and then you ain't going to be able to get around to fucking getting the real money because you cursed out the intern who's now the executive. You got the money, relax with it, you stupid motherfucker. Mm. And go invest and save. And then get you a chain. If the chain costs 100000 you should have 300000 the least saved. Did you know that the, in, that the in, 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 in interns back then was going to turn around and be record execs when you was coming up? That was me talking to me. <laughs> 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 Damn. <laughs> About me back then. Yeah. You know That's what I'm real saying? Shit. shit. Cam shit went wrong. Cam had I was grabbing niggas up, making them apologize, which I don't even know what they did. I'm just doing it. You know what I'm saying? Now this nigga, the, the CEO of Dev Jam or CEO of something that I need a dollar from. 
What's Dang. something key that you learned from, from, from Dame? Cause I, because Dang. when I think about the dip set, I still always think about Dame Dad. Yeah. So you have to. You have what to. Because Dame, Dame, Dame. Dame, shout out to Dame too. Shout out to Dame. You know what I mean? Dame, I love you. Quick talking motherfucker, but he was <laughs> the only nigga that could that could give you something and and make you set give you give him give you gotta give him money to give it back to him, whatever the fuck that is. <laughs> Dame is methodical. Bro. Dame is a he's a go getter. Mm. Mm-hmm. Dame will he he takes that leap. He takes that that scary leap of faith that people are extremely scared of. Like if okay. if it costs his last dollar, he immediately puts it up. You know what I'm saying? Dame is the filth. Dame Dame is the the person that took the filter out. You know what I mean? He's gonna give it to you raw. He gonna he gonna give it to you direct and. That's what he instilled in us. But we funneled it in a way to be able to maneuver through the bullshit to not scare away the, the masses that pay. You understand you. what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I, I got you. Dame is a you, genius. You're putting it, you're putting it, you're putting it correct. That is an you. art form. You dig? Making sure you don't scare away the people that are going to pay. You know what I'm saying? Like it's, customers. Yeah, because it's, that's the reality of life. You, mm-hmm. you can say what you want and do woo-ha all day, but you still going to have to finance anything that you're mm-hmm. trying to do. Got it don't matter. So the way you do it, the, you, you know, you got to know when and where. You got to, it's like a running back trying to get through the hole. You got to juke to the left, juke to the right. Go step back, or maybe run. You gotta do whatever you gotta do to get through the hole to get to the touchdown. But if you do it in a in a dynamic where you stay able to go to sleep at night and you feel good with yourself, that's the way you win. And Dame, he's so harsh, he's so he he just stomps, he pound mm-hmm. on his chest, he King Kong, and he got a Godzilla roar, and that niggas be like, and let's not go that way. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Where if you you just gotta. I'm not telling Dane what he got to do because he get millions. So I, I don't, I just know that's what blackballs him, his, his love and his stern way of moving. You gotcha. know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. it's perfect. He reminds, like, and they think, and they, they funnel it, they, they put him, they try to make it seem like he's crazy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's why I'm asking you because nah. everybody that, I, that I, I've met him a couple of times, but I never had a relationship with him, so I, I can't speak on that. But everybody yeah. tries to act like he's crazy, but I always say, being a genius is borderline crazy mm-hmm. as, 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 as well. You know what? You know what he remind me of? The, what was the dude from Back to the Future? Doc. The, Doc. Yeah. That's, that's Dan. Word? Yeah, you, he, like, ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. He, 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 he always talk, ah, he just got to cut his hair. Cut Doc hair. Yeah, and he's Dan. And he's Dan. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga knew how to send a nigga back in time. I probably should have to ask, I probably should ask Cam this, but you're so close. I'm sure you know, because this whole thing is about stories, right? Is that story really real that Cam's mom hunted down Dame and said, yo, you're you going to leave my son here and you ain't going to give him a record deal? Is that real? Well, first, first and foremost, rest in peace, Ma. Mm. I love you. I love you. I love you. I know you're looking over. I know you're looking over all of us. I know you making it pop. You up there, I don't know what you doing up there, but you kicking tables and you slapping people because you <laughs> got killer shaking, nigga. And I thank you, I thank you, I thank you for being you. You taught me so much. I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you beyond, beyond past that. You know what I mean? You mean the most to me. And with that, I'ma just, I don't even feel like answering that question. No problem. That's, you know what, what I'm me- saying?